Hi guys and welcome back to the first sort of real video besides my room tour for, um, you know, in my new apartment. And as you can see, everything is done. Everything is complete. Um, there are a little, a couple of wall scrolls that I still have to hang on the wall. But overall, the apartment is completely done and, um, you know, I actually have been living in it and playing some games. Now, as you can see, the game that I want to talk about is Breath of Fire 3. This is a childhood game. It's a game that I played alongside stuff like Alundra and, of course, Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever. But I, I never really got into Breath of Fire 3 as I did in, like, Final Fantasy games. I played it a lot. Don't get me wrong. I played it a lot. I started the game a lot of times over and over again, but I never really beat the game or, so it seems, got really far. Now, I know there is a child portion of the game and there is an adult portion of the game, and I never reached the adult stage. I never did. <laughs> Same with me personally. I never uh, reached the adult stage. <laughs> no, but seriously... And then last year, beginning of this year, I started playing Breath of Fire 3 again. You know, I played Suikoden 2, I played uh, Grandia, and I was playing Grandia 2, and I wanted to play more, you know, I do want to play more, and I am playing more on the PS1 RPGs. So I thought to myself, you know, I never beat uh, Breath of Fire 3, let's try and beat it. So I was playing through the game, and I absolutely loved it, enjoyed it, and then I got to a certain point where you fight the, I think it's the, uh, the the undead dragon. And I could not beat him. And I remembered, like, wait a minute. That is literally the point where I always stopped playing the game. I could never beat the undead dragon. It's really annoying. Well, of course, in this day of age, you can easily go to YouTube or walkthroughs or whatever. And I found out you can actually beat him really, really really easy with just a cheat spell um so i did and i beat him and holy damn that is literally the point where you transition between being you know the child portion of the game and the adult portion of the game so now i am a couple of hours into that portion of the game the second half of the game i guess and uh, this is all unexplored territory now i do know that my brother or little brother um, played the game years and years ago, and he, he was almost at the end of the game, but he never beat it, and he played it with a walkthrough. So he literally checked out the walkthrough you know, online and then played the game. Uh, I'm not doing that. I'm just <clears throat> trying to check out some stuff if I am really stuck in the game, like in the Undead uh, Dragon or Vampire Dragon, whatever. And, um, you know, I, I was thinking about the game, and I was thinking about Final Fantasy VII, and I thought to myself, you know, I, I remember there was sort of, I won't say a battle, but it was like, I remember there was an ad saying like, uh, Breath of Fire 3 uh, keeps going where Final Fantasy VII stops in terms of the grand scale of the game, how long the game is. And I have to agree, I am now 43 hours into the game, and yes, I did grind a lot, etc., etc. But I'm 43 hours into the game, and I'm basically at the beginning, sort of, of the second portion of the game. I am now um, to a point where I beat uh, guys, um, and I and they're going to sort of revive Deus, if I spelled that correctly, whatever. Um, so leave in the comments below, am I at the end of the game or still, you know, whatever. Um, so I, I was playing the game, and I think to myself, you know... Final Fantasy VII to me is like the holy grail of games. It's the best game I've ever played. It's the best RPG I've ever played. That is what it's in my mind, and it still is. It still is. Uh, you know, nostalgia is a powerful thing, and it it's definitely has to do something with nostalgia. It's true. But it's also an extremely good game. Everybody, well, everybody, most people who play Final Fantasy VII kind of say the same thing. It's a really good game. But... Was Breath of Fire 3 really sort of that inferior against Final Fantasy 7? It, it was, in sales-wise, completely destroyed. Uh, and in, in critics-wise, it was completely destroyed by Final Fantasy 7. But was Final Fantasy 7 really that much better? Because 
as I as I pl- been playing uh, Breath of Fire Three, I you know there were a couple of things that really struck in my mind. One of those is the graphics. The game looks really good. It's you know Super Nintendo style hand drawn uh, graphics mixed with three D graphics. But even the three D graphics for a PlayStation game looks pretty good actually. And the hand-drawn sprite look amazing. There's so much detail in characters. And, you know, I I was looking at the characters and Gar, even as I was a kid, I really liked Gar. He just looked really cool, like like a small dragon. And uh, Ryu itself, you know, he's first like a little kid swinging a sword. And then he he gets a little bit more confident and he swings his sword a bit more confident. And then you grow to be an adult, and he's just a tough guy. He's just, you know, he's a badass sword fighter. And I really liked that graphical transition between being, you know, a scared kid, being a more confident kid, and being like a really confident adult, if he's an adult. I think in Japan, you're a 16 million year old adult. So he's in the game, he's probably meant to be an adult. So the graphic, graphically, to me, at least the sprites were much better than in any Final Fantasy game on the PlayStation, to be completely honest. Now, of course, Final Fantasy uses these sort of um, uh, still backgrounds, and these look much better than anything, anything a PlayStation 1 3D polygon can create. But overall, I, I do believe that Breath of Fire 3 is in that term, much more playable, for the eye at least, uh, than Final Fantasy VII. And the battle system itself is also really cool. It's really fast-paced. It's it's simple, you know. There are a couple, uh, there are a lot of games, and especially, to be completely honest, I w- I'm playing Final Fantasy IX also quite a bit at my dad's place, and I, I was getting really annoyed at how slow the battles are. Um, it, it really feels that they pushed the graphics on the PlayStation so much that they couldn't even hit a stable 30 frames. It really shows. And even somehow in the sort of re-release, remaster, you still have that really slow style battle system. Now, Final Fantasy VII didn't have that. Final Fantasy VII has a really fast and fluid battle system, but it, it, it felt really slow in Final Fantasy VIII and IX. And then you have Breath of Fire, Breath of Fire Tree, and it, it just felt more fluid, more more faster. You know, it, it just clicks, and it's it's not a hard game, but it's also not a e- super easy game. Uh, it kind of depends, I guess, how much you grind and try to get everything, etc. But um, what I also really liked is the open world. Breath of Fire Tree probably has the best and most detailed. Open world, well, world map, I mean world map. World map that I've ever seen in an RPG that has a world map like in Breath of Fire, uh, you know, Final Fantasy, etc. There is so much detail in the world map. You know, you really feel that you're on a grand adventure. Now, it's a lot more linear. There are sort of paths that you have to take, and there are a lot of sort of side paths that takes you to, you know, um, hidden monsters or hidden hidden gems that can um, let Ryu create different types of dragons. It's also a really cool mechanic that you have gems and you can sort of have up to three three gems and that will create sort of a dragon. And there are a lot of types of dragons you can mix and match and it's really cool, but you can find them in in sort of a world map and they're, they're hidden monsters and monsters sort of boost your stats. So they, for example, boost your strength, but it decreases your intelligence. It's really cool. So you can sort of really create a character um, with that type of system. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm just playing through the game and especially the second part of the game, the, 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 the open or the world map music changes and I'm listening to it and I'm listening to it. I'm like, this is really good. This is like, this is Final Fantasy style good. Now, the whole music itself, the soundtrack itself is good. It's a good soundtrack, and there are some tracks that are extremely good. But overall, if you just take, you know, Final Fantasy VII soundtrack or 8 or 9 and put it against Breath of Fire 3, yeah, I mean, Final Fantasy is 
Nobu Uematsu is is a genius and um, almost unbeatable, to be in my personal view at least. Um, so the, the, the music in Brother Fire Tree is really good, but not as good as Final Fantasy VII. So you know, I was just playing through the game, and I'm like, Brother Fire Tree isn't really you know, a, a game that's really inferior against Final Fantasy VII. And what made Final Fantasy VII so extremely good? Because even the the, 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 the storyline in Breath of Fire 3 is pretty damn good. You, you truly feel that you are sort of experiencing a journey f- uh, from being a kid to being, you know, uh, an adult, etc. And you And what I also really like is when you actually be an adult... And you go back to all the places and sort of the storyline takes you back to all the places. People are like, hey, don't I remember you from years ago? Oh, you know, years ago there was a little kid, you know, and I, I, I uh, you know, always thought to myself, what happened to that kid? I really like that they really try to make the world feel connected. And I think they've done a pretty good job at doing that. And that's something that... In a lot of RPGs, you don't really see, um, you know, especially, for example, you know, in Final Fantasy, if you start at Midgar and then you, you know, at the end of the game, you go back to Midgar, people will basically say the same stuff. They're not like, hey, I remember you, you know, oh, man, man, it has been a long time. That would have been pretty cool. That would have made you, at least for me personally, would have made you, you know, be more into the world. And they have done that in a certain way in Breath of Fire 3. So I just want to talk about that game for a little while. Uh, And actually, I'm almost 12 minutes. I'm completely sorry. (laughs) Uh, Hope you liked this video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And like always, you will see me next time. And maybe after this video, I'm going to make my gaming pickup video. Because I did buy quite a lot of stuff. But I'm not entirely sure if I want to sort of take it out Uh, all the stuff and um, yeah, show it. So hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you like always.